welcome back everyone so first let me clarify that this is my personal view that i don't like a microsoft account to log into my windows machine i will give you four major reason and then better you decide that whether i'm right or wrong so without any delay let's quickly get started so number one Forgetting Windows password or a pin is a very common problem for all the Windows users including me and especially when you are logged in with a Microsoft account through the pin and resetting the pin or fixing any kind of pin problem is a very complicated as compared to a local account password. Even hacking a Microsoft account is much easier especially if you are using any kind of weak password and this is my first reason i don't like the microsoft account and i prefer going with a local account now number two microsoft account give you services like xbox office 365 and onedrive where you take the backup so you can transfer on another computer as well however it's a good feature but the drawback is it's only limited to 5 gigabyte of data which i guess is not enough for anyone so of course you will have to upgrade and pay for this kind of services and even the settings that get backed up is not that useful because once you will upgrade to newer operating system on a new machine that old setting might not be that useful as you are on a new operating system for example about a year back if you were using windows 11 to an h2 and now if you install or upgrade windows 11 then probably you will be going with 2.3 h2 edition so having the old settings of the older version of windows 11 doesn't make any sense to have on the newer version of windows 11 and additionally as it back up the entire data and setting so sometime if your computer password get compromised microsoft keep it in review until that period of time you won't be able to log into your computer which is really very annoying because you will not be able to log into your own computer only and as we are talking about the microsoft services the bitlocker is another reason where most of the people including me get stuck on the bitlocker page and it really happened with me about two months back where i forgot the bitlocker recovery key and even i forgot the password of the microsoft account so there was no way to fix this problem no way to get rid of the bitlocker page while starting the computer and so i was only left with the one solution where i had to format my drive and i lost all my data so that was really frustrating for me that was really a bad news for me okay now let's move with the third reason and this is the most annoying reason where i have noticed that logging in with the microsoft account in windows 11 take more cpu usage like more process and thread count as compared to a local account and i can prove you this right now on my computer so what i did i installed two different windows 11 machine on my virtual machine one i logged in with a microsoft account and one i logged in with a local account so you can see on the left hand side it's windows 11 with microsoft account logged in and on the right hand side it's a local account and when i bring up the task manager you can compare the usage there is a high usage in windows 11 with the microsoft account logged in as compared to a local account you can see the difference here and trust me guys i have not opened any kind of application nothing is running in the background even you can have a look on the process here so this was another drawback that i found that will be surely affecting the performance of your windows 11 and now the last and not the least privacy and data sharing is another cause that i feel uncomfortable and here you give personal information to microsoft the company will have your email address your purchase history your settings and so on so if you're using bing or kotana microsoft will also know quite a lot about your browsing history and a speech search activity and if you want to see all the data microsoft has about you go to the privacy dashboard and sign in with your microsoft account so these are the four major reasons and i believe these are enough reason that i don't like a microsoft account and i prefer using a local account on my computer and now additionally if you have any doubt any question that if you're using a local account you will not be able to use any services of microsoft so that's absolutely wrong you can use bitlocker you can use onedrive even if you continue using a local account so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if you agree with me then let me know in the comment section that you want to go with a local account or you love a microsoft account and i see you in the next video Bye bye